Hi, this is Jamie Shaw. I'm a senior CAD support specialist of the Illinois Department of Transportation, and today we're going to talk about cross sections. Uh, there's been some issues with the uh, slope not annotating on cross sections, and we're going to discuss how to fix this. So, what I've done is I went into first you have to go to the you see this all the slopes are annotated except for this one so if I go back and go to the multi-model view, view and then go into standards and then down to annotation groups cross sections drawing and then excess grid annotation right click on it and go manage the annotation group comes up and we are looking for excess slope annotation left and right and if you pick on highlight selected it should highlight the, those slopes um, but you need to make sure your your annotation scale is 1 to 10 before you open the manage annotations or you won't be able to see them and stretch this out a little bit maybe we can see it a little better but you see it's missing everything on the right side because we have or on the left side it's or everything on the left side is annotated because we have the right side picked so if we picked on the left side it should show the right side annotated <laughs> Okay, sometimes when you're cutting cross sections, it doesn't pick up the annotation for whatever reason. I don't know. But the solution I found to fix this is a lot of people will try to go in and manipulate these, and it doesn't help it any. So what I've done is, let's close this. I went right-click, copy. And then I made, and then I pasted it. And I made it excess grid with slopes. Now, if you go into excess grid with slopes and manage it, and copy your excess slope annotation on both sides, mine's this particular job I was messing with was for widening, so I made a I made the label widening, and just make a copy of them. And then remove the excess slope annotation on both sides and rename it for whatever you want to use it for and then go into the location and you want to remove everything up in the expressions except for 0.1 offset that's greater or is less than or equal to 0.1 and same with the 0.2 offset and then you want to say create a list of segments and you want to select segments from templates and then you go in and you pick each place you want to you know remove everything that's down here in this new one that you created and then just pick where you want slopes like the fore slope the back slope the edge of shoulder edge, edge of ag shoulder edge of um, HMA shoulder there there and same on the other side and add all these as you pick them it'll add to this side and then once all that's completed close out of this and then hit apply expression changes once you pick all the segments and you can see what I've got I've got left edge of shoulder HMA left edge of pavement HMA left PCC extra and you, you can scroll through and see everything I've got picked out here. So I just got the edge of shoulders and the edge of pavement and the center line northbound. So you can see everything I've got picked. Or you can, you know, make this a little bigger and you can see everything I've got picked here. So apply expression changes if you fixed all that. And like I said, you have to copy this and rename it something else. Otherwise, it's going to pick up for the from the other one because they're the same name. So you want a different if you're doing a widening, whatever. If you just excess slope annotation for um, 
four slopes or whatever and rename you have to rename the annotation group as well then after that you close this box and you go back into your cross section which I was in cross section number 42 and then you see that's still missing so you go remove annotation models once you do one or two to make sure it's working you can annotate all of them together and then you want to come up and go annotate model and then you want to pick say it's at the excess annotation or excess grid with annotation you want to go click the new annotation group that you made which is excess grid with slopes and then left click inside give it a minute and there now the slope is in there like it's supposed to be but the critical part of this let's see you can't manage it in there you have to be in the multi-model view go back to the multi-model view the key point is when you're in here is so that's set to use all points did I pick the right one here let's try this let's close out of this yeah excess grid with slopes so manage it want to pick your excess slope for widening and you got to do it to both sides left and right so you want to make sure you pick it and then you want to select this by templates I forgot to show you this and you want to go pick all the templates you're you're using so for this one was uh, I think it was I don't remember what templates or this template that I'm using in here wasn't the actual templates for the project you have to pick the templates for your project and you, if you have more than one templates template you have to pick each template for that project which this one let me close all this had go to corridors and go load up their template library and go to file open no I see this was their template library so now you have their template library and they had one, two, three, four, five templates here. So you have to click this on each each one. So now, yes, save that template library. Now when you go in and manage this one, and click on excess slope for widening. Select segments from template. You want to make sure you go and pick the template you were looking using so so it was these five here so you know make sure you pick that template and you want to pick those two and then those two for the right side and so on and so forth and you have to pick every template that you use in the project and then when you're done apply expressions so I'm not going to do that since I've already done all this for all of them we'll go back to we did 42 we'll go look at 43 and you see 43 didn't have any annotation at all neither does 44 Let's go 49 Let's see 49 it's looks like it's annotated everything Let's go to 50 to 60 and see that one's missing the slope out there so you can go go in production remove annotation and then you want to re-annotate it make sure you pick the new annotation group that you just created give it a minute and there's both slopes and this is 
per project. You know, if that annotation group, you try to use it on another project, you'll have to set it to those project templates. So it's not based on the overall ETM library. So it's not going to fix every scenario. So you're going to have to assign it to whatever template you're using in that scenario. So I hope this helps you out. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can email me at jamie.shaw at illinois.gov. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you.